we're live. <laughs> Hello everyone, or welcome to part two of this English pronunciation class. So I am Anna, this is English like a native, I am British. I was born here in England and I am a native speaker. And yesterday you may have joined me for a pronunciation lesson all about the countries of the world and we started to go through the many countries that there are in the world and discovered that there are many countries that some of us don't know. And in fact, I felt quite ignorant because there were many countries I had never heard of. And it took quite a long time. We were on for about an hour and a half last night. So we said we would split the lesson in half and come back again today. So you are with me again today, which is fun. Today here in England, it's just gone five o'clock. Who do I have? Hello, Brian. Hello, Nina. Hello, Serene. Hi, um, Annie BG, uh, Diana, Trung, uh, Cesar. How are you guys? Thank you for joining me here. So if you are here, then let me know where you're watching from. Hello, Eric. Nice to see you. Um, uh, Zahana, I know I don't say your name right, is it Jana, Jana, Jana? Um, Carlos, hello from Spain, hello Nick, Fernando, um, Ying Teo, Felix in Taiwan, Dunya, um, Andreas, Seven Armand, Salam, Nick in Fran San Francisco, uh, Nina is in the Netherlands, uh, Khaled, hello, Emin, hello again, uh, Waled in Tunisia, hi, um, people in Pakistan, Anne-Marie in Germany, Jana, Jana, <laughs> I will get your name right one day, um, oh, Dania's in London, lovely, um, I've got Ayush, uh, Ayushi, Ayushi in India, Okay, wonderful. We've got people watching in China, Kazakhstan, Taiwan. Fabulous. Lovely to see you all. So we are going to continue our journey of discovery. Um, if you are here and you're feeling good today, then please hit that thumb button. Of course, every thumb is helpful to me to get this lesson pushed out into the YouTube world and for YouTube to help promote these videos. So anything you can do in that respect with sharing or just pressing the thumb will be much appreciated. Um, oh, I've got people in from Mexico, hello as well. Wow, I've got people on all sides of the globe, that's fantastic. So yesterday we started at the end of the alphabet and we worked up from Z and we got all the way up to Nambia was the last, Namibia, sorry. I did that yesterday as well. Namibia. Namibia was the last country that we got to. So some of these countries I've never heard of, but as we go through, if there are countries that I'm not sure of, I will double check the phonetic spelling and make sure that we have the British English pronunciations. Um, hopefully you can see me well and you can see the um, list on the board. It saved me writing, which means this lesson should go a lot quicker. So, here we are. Who has heard of this country? Anyone here from this country? I've never heard this. I've heard of um, Burma, Burma, but I've never heard of this. And this is Myanmar, Myanmar, Myanmar is how we pronounce it. Anyone here from Myanmar uh, or Burma? I wonder why there are two names for this country as well. I have definitely heard of Burma but not Myanmar. I'd love to know if anyone is familiar with this particular country. Um, while I'm waiting to see if anyone responds to that question, I'm gonna carry on through. We have here Mozambique, Mozambique. So Emin says, I have heard about it. You've heard about Myanmar. Cool, does anyone know anything about it? Burma is the old name, says ja Jana. Maybe you're, is that a guess you're asking? It was renamed Myanmar. Okay, 
is near India. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, fabulous. Well, I'll have to check it out on the World Atlas and pay a visit one day. So here we have Mozambique. Mozambique. Then we have Morocco. Anyone here from Mozambique or Morocco? I think I've been to Morocco. Can you tell me anything exciting about these countries? We have Montenegro, Montenegro, Montenegro. Anyone here from Montenegro? Um, Anne-Marie saying, I also think Burma is the old name for Myanmar. Oh, we do have Mary Ann is from Morocco. Woohoo! Yes, I've been to Morocco. I have been to Morocco. I remember now I went to Casablanca just for one day. <laughs> okay, then we have here, we have Mongolia. 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 Then we have Monaco, Monaco, Monaco. I think I've seen the shore of Monaco, but I don't think I've actually been on the, sh on the actual land of Monaco. Here we have Moldova, Moldova. Cookies are very famous from Morocco. Cookies. Really? As in biscuits? I didn't know that. Um, oh, hello, Dave. You're saying I'm here now? Yes, woohoo! <laughs> Hi, thanks for joining us. Um, Burma was part of India once. I didn't know that. Interesting. Yes, that's right. I've, be, I've traveled so much, I don't know where I've been. That's because I lived on a ship for two years and we had a different country every day. Um, okay, let's carry on. So we have Moldova. I had to look this one up. This is Micronesia. Micronesia. I'm going to just double check that one again. Micronesia. 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 Anyone here from Micronesia or know where Micronesia is? I've never heard of it. We then, of course, have Mexico. Mexico, a country I have never been to, but I fully intend to go. Mexico. I know I have some viewers here from Mexico, so hello. Do you say hola in Mexico? All right, we have um, here Mauritius. So this is a sh in the middle, Mauritius. Mauritius, Mauritius. In Mexico, there are lots of beaches, there's lots of food and pyramids. Oh, interesting. I'm definitely planning to go to Mexico at some point. I'm assuming it's also very hot in Mexico and I love the hot weather. Um, I've never heard of Micronesia either. Hmm, I wonder who has I'd love to know more about that. So here we have, so we have Mauritius and then we have Mauritania. It looks very similar to Mauritius but it has a completely different pronunciation. Mauritania, Mauritania, Mauritania. Um, Bren, Breno says, how many languages do you speak? I only speak English. I speak a little bit of lots of different languages but I, I couldn't really have a conversation in anything other than English which is a shame. Um, oh, also, when we go back, talking about Mexico, we have a lot of uh, Mexican restaurants in the UK. We do enjoy our Mexican food here. We have here the Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands. I've never heard of the Marshall Islands. Anybody know anything about the Marshall Islands? Hello, if you're just joining me now, we're just on the M's. We're working backwards up the alphabet, going through the different countries in the world. Um, we did half of the lesson yesterday and we're doing half today. If you are new here, then please do press that big red subscribe button and press the bell notification button next to subscribe so you don't miss any future lessons. I'm aiming to do 
many different types of lessons, short ones, long ones, pre-recorded and live. So hopefully there's something here that you will find helpful. Everything I do here is free. Of course, you're welcome to sponsor a video. This video is set up for Super Chats right now. So if you're live with me now and you'd like to sponsor this video and have your comment flash up and highlight at the top of the screen, then all you have to do is click the Super Chat and that would be very much appreciated, but you don't have to. Otherwise, everything here is free. And um, all I ask in return is that you subscribe and press like. And of course, if you want to share, then that would make me very, very happy. So we have a place that I definitely have been. It was the first country I ever went to outside of the UK. It's Malta. Malta. They have beautiful, beautiful seas there. I went swimming in the sea and they filmed the film Popeye in Malta. Has anyone seen the movie Popeye with Robin Williams? That was filmed in Malta. Um, so I really enjoyed that one. Hi, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Do you have Ukrainian restaurants in the UK? No, we don't. Well, I'm sure there may be one or two, but I've never seen one. The Marshall Islands is a US protectorate in the middle of the Pacific. Um, oh, where they do their where they do their nu where they did their nuclear tests in the fifties? I didn't know that. So that's what I love about this community. We're all learning together. That's cool. Uh, uh, Portuguese restaurants. Do we have Portuguese restaurants here in the UK? I don't think so. Maybe one or two, but they're not a popular restaurant. Um, okay, so this here is Marley. Marley, like the film Marley and Me. Marley. And then we have the Maldives. The Maldives. Make sure that V is vibrated. Maldives. Then we have Malaysia. And this is a zh, a voiced fricative sound. Zh, Malaysia. Malaysia. We have Malawi. 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 Hello, if you're just joining. We have Madagascar. Madagascar. Of course, this particular country has been made super famous because of the cartoon Madagascar. Has anyone here been to or from Madagascar? And then we have um, Macedonia. Macedonia. I haven't seen this before. What is this? What is this? Fry, firom, 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 Macedonia. I just know it as Macedonia, not firom. Um, okay, how do you pronounce Oman? Oman, Oman. There you go. Tunisia, Malaysia. Yes, they have that similar zh sound in the middle. Okay, let's move from the M's all the way up. You know that Macedonia means fruit salad in Italian. Does it really? So that means we all know an Italian word, Macedonia. <laughs> How difficult to find vegetarian food in the UK? Uh, it's very easy to find vegetarian food in the UK and it's becoming more and more popular. In fact, near my house, there are many specific um, specifically vegetarian only restaurants. They only do vegetarian food in some restaurants. Okay, so, um, oh, just so you know, if you are rude, then you will be removed and your message will be deleted. So if you haven't anything pleasant to say, then don't say anything at all. All right, so we have here Luxembourg. Obviously, this has um, a difficult ending, but we just do a nice, nice uh sound. Luxembourg, Luxembourg, Luxembourg. Okay, um, just going back to Fyrom, we have former Yugoslavic, U Yugoslavia Republic of Macedonia. Interesting. 
Um, thank you for that. And how do we pronounce Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe. If, you're, if there's any countries that are at the end of the list, I did them yesterday, so you can catch up with that lesson from the channel. And um, Kim Thomas, thank you so much. You're so sweet. You sent me a super chat yesterday as well, and you just sent me a super chat donation now. So thank you so much, Kim, for once again sponsoring this channel. Of course, you can, if you want to, put a comment with your super chat. If you really want your comments to stand out, then you can do that. But thank you so much. It really means a lot. Okay, so... Um, what have we got? I've got lots of people joining. If you're just joining here, then please do give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're a subscriber. I know about 65% of you don't subscribe. I don't know why. If you're here, you may as well. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, yes, Kim says, if we support one or two pounds, we can help you to create more videos for all of us. Yes, of course. I mean, it's not expected at all. Um, I'm here to help everyone to learn English, whether they can afford to or not. But of course, any help here does really help me. This is my full-time job. Um, of course, I don't make much money doing it. Um, so it's very helpful and very much appreciated. Um, so let's move on. I was saying Luxembourg, that wide vowel, uh, Luxembourg. And then moving up, we have Lithuania. We have that TH, which is the tongue out between the teeth, Lithuania, 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 okay? Um, this one is an interesting one. I'm going to double check the pronunciation of this, but I would say Lichten, Lich, Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein, Lichtenstein, Lichtenstein. Mm, let me double check to see if there's a difference between American and British pronunciation of this word. Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. No, they're exactly the same. So we have Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. So just go for the T sound. Lichten. Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. How? Where is Liechtenstein? Liechtenstein. I'm thinking it might be like near Germany or something, Liechtenstein. Yes, Nick, you're absolutely right. There isn't a ch in the middle, as in a ch sound. Liechtenstein is how we're pronouncing it. I did have to check though. Okay. Oh, it's next to Luxembourg. Oh, okay. Thank you, Nick. Nick, where are you from? Did you say earlier? I might have missed it. Liechtenstein is between Switzerland and Austria. Austria. Okay. So then we have Libya. L Libya. 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 Ah. I think I've been there. Definitely think I've been there. And then we have... Liberia. 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 Just checking there's no difference between American and British pronunciation of these. So we have Libya, Liberia. I've never heard of this country. Who knows this country? Lesotho. 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 Does anyone know Lesotho? Oh, Julia. Julia, bless your heart. Don't give up and don't give in. I know exactly where that comes from. Thank you so much. Uh, Julia is one of my gold members. So she's a member of my WhatsApp group and um, gets to talk to us on Skype as well. Um, just some of, the, some of the benefits of being a gold member and um, a fantastic addition to the gold member group as well. Um, also an English teacher. So thank you, Julia, for your constant support. It's very much appreciated. So here we have Lebanon, Lebanon, Lebanon. 
Um, so Lesotho is in South Africa. Interesting. Oh, Andre, Babu, hello, welcome. Um, Ali, hello, you're from Lebanon. Lebanon in Asia, it's an Arabic country, hello. Now we have Latvia, anyone here from Latvia? And I think this is pronounced Laos, Laos. Laos. Yes, Laos, Laos. So there we are for the lovely L's, L's. Can you say something in Parisian? I know I don't I don't know anything in that language. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, okay, so let's go on to the K's. K K K. So here's an interesting place. Let's have a look at the pronunciation for this one. Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. Where is Kyrgyzstan? Anyone? Kyrgyzstan? Kyrgyzstan, anyone? And then we have um, Kuwait. Kuwait. I've definitely heard of Kuwait. 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 So we make like a rounded sound, a rounded face. Ku Kuwait. We then have Kosovo. 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 Mm. I haven't heard of this country either. Let's put this one in. Kiribati. Interesting. Kiribati. Where is the S? It isn't written with an S, but we pronounce an S. Kiribati. 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 I've never heard of this place, and that's a very bizarre pronunciation for how it's written. Hello. Hello, everyone who is just joining me now. Okay, so let's carry on here. Kiribati, and we have Kenya. Lovely Kenya. I've been to Kenya. And then we have Kazakhstan. 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 Um, great. Okay, so Nick, you're from the USSR. Is that what you're saying? Is that where you're from? Guys, if I miss your message, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. There's just so many messages going past. It's really hard to keep up with them. Um, but I'm really pleased that so many of you are here and so many of you are getting involved. Um, so Nick, you're from, oh, you're in the USA. Great. I've been to the US quite a lot, but this is such a big country, isn't it? Okay, so oh, we have someone here who was born in Kazakhstan. Lovely, welcome. Tell me something fabulous about Kazakhstan. Krishna is saying that the pronunciation you hear is Kiribati, I've heard, not Kiribati. I'm just going with what the dictionaries are telling me. So it may be that they're pronounced differently in different countries. Um, but I'm going with the Oxford and Cambridge dictionaries to try and get a very definite, correct British pronunciation. Hello in Rio de Janeiro. I love England and the British accents. I love it. Well, thank you, David. I'm glad you do because that's what we're covering here. It's really good to have you here. Um, I'm from Kazakhstan, a shrunken city. We eat horses as our national food. Interesting, very different here. We don't eat horse here. Um, uh, it's something, uh, besh, besh parmak is cooked from horse meat and pasta like lasagna. What's that taste like? What other kind of meat does that taste like? Okay, and as you're responding to that comment, um, as you're responding, I will um, go on to J. 
So we have Jordan. I've definitely been to Jordan. And um, Japan. I've been to Japan. Japan. And Jamaica. I haven't been to Jamaica. I want to go to Jamaica. But I haven't been to Jamaica. Um, so Jordan, Japan, Jamaica. That was easy. Let's move on to the eyes. If you are just joining me now, please make sure that you've pressed the big red subscribe button and give this video a thumb if you haven't already. That would be fabulous. Um, if you are a member of any of these countries we're about to cover here now, the eyes, then please give me a shout. Let me know what's so fabulous about your country. So we have Italy. Ciao. If you're in Italy, ciao, ciao, ciao. Um, let me know what part of Italy you're from and what you love the most about Italy. I've been to Italy many times. I think it's a beautiful place with lots of, well, many amazing things to see. I've been to Venice. Rome, um, Tuscany, very, very rich country, rich as in rich culture, um, rich history, lots to do and see. Um, have you been to Morocco? Yes, I have. Okay, so, um, so a lot of people here from Iraq, lovely. Kisses from Italy, thank you, Vela. Then we have Israel, Israel. Let me see if there's a difference between American and British English on this one. Israel. Israel. Slight Israel. Difference. British tend to say Israel, Israel, whereas Americans Israel. tend to say is Israel. Israel, 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 Israel. So British English, it's not that much different. British English, Israel. 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 Like a handrail rail or a railway rail israel but with a z sound israel um barman's barman brother says i think english is the easiest language in the world cool you're from bangladesh oh i have a i have a member in my gold group who's from bangladesh and he's actually finds the language relatively easy zahir is from kurdistan in iraq fabulous gail or oh, gal 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 from Israel, or oh, quite a few of you. Lovely. Okay, so moving up, we have Ireland. Ireland, like me, I, Ireland. We don't go into the R sound, we don't do ir, ir, we just do Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. I've been to Ireland many times. Spent many months in Ireland. Has anyone here ever been to Ireland? Another beautiful, very green country. Then we have Iraq. Iraq. I definitely have heard this pronounced differently by Americans. Let me just check the standard American. Iraq. 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 Yeah, same Iraq or Iraq for American, for American English, Iraq or Iraq. Iraq. We just say Iraq here in, in British English. Gosh, gosh, why can't we all just say the same thing? It'll be so much easier. Um, Jana says, can you speak with an Irish accent? Well, I, I'm not very good at doing an Irish accent, but I will try my very, very best. Um, I mean, there are lots of different accents in Ireland, of course, and um, it really depends on where you're from in Ireland. But this is the best I can do. And they tend to pretend, some people will say, top of the morning to you when they're talking in an Irish accent. <laughs> but I don't know if many people in Ireland actually say, top of the morning to you. Right, that's enough of that. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're Irish and I'm sorry if I've offended you. I'm only having a play. Um, some of you joining me live for the first time, but some of you are having to go to bed because it's late. Well, good night if you're going and hello if you're here and you've just joined. Make sure you've subscribed before you leave and make sure you've pressed the thumb button. Um, fabulous, let's carry on. So we've got Iraq, we have Iran. 
Let me check this one as well for Iran or Iran. So American is more Iran, British, Iran, a wider sound. Always think of Brits with a marble in their mouth or speaking like this, a bit more rounded in the mouth. Iran, Iran. Or Americans more Iran, Iran. Okay. <laughs> I like the Irish accent. Yes, me too. I love the Irish accent. Um, is it hard if your primary language is not English and you're trying to learn the British accent? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's hard because of all the different accents in the UK. I think that can make it difficult. Um, but I do have a series on this particular channel of different accents and I'm going to be adding to that soon as well. So go and check out those videos after you finish this lesson. So here we have Indonesia, Indonesia, Indonesia. Anyone here from Indonesia? Indonesia. Sorry, let me just correct that pronunciation. We have Indonesia. Indonesia. I wouldn't want to confuse anyone with my silly accent. We have Indonesia. Indonesia. And then we have India. India. I know I have a lot of viewers from India. And I have been to India twice. And then we have Iceland. 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 I've been to Iceland once. And then we're moving up into the H's. We have Hungary. Let me double check this for you. Hungary. 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 Okay, so let's split it into three syllables. Hungary. Hungary. Hungary, apparently. Hungary. Not how I would say it naturally, but um, I don't talk about Hungary very often. So that's not surprising. Um, Hungary. And then we have Honduras. 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 Anyone here from Honduras? Where in the world is Honduras? Where is Honduras, anyone? Um, I am Hungary now. <laughs> If you're saying, I'm hungry, then we don't do three syllables, it's two. I'm hungry, I need food, I'm hungry. That's two syllables and um, different spelling, of course. Hungry. I've heard Hungarian is a tough language. I, 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 I wouldn't know. I don't speak any Hungarian, unfortunately. Okay, so then we have... Um, I think this is Haiti. Haiti? Let me check it for you. Haiti. Yeah, Haiti. 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 Anyone here from Haiti? What's the weather like in Haiti? Honduras is Central America. Ah, okay. Thank you. All right. So let's move on to the next part of the list. Woohoo. We're getting to the top. We're getting there. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing lots of, lots of places that I have never heard of. Guyana. So this is Guyana, Guyana, similar to my name with Guy on the beginning, Guyana. So yes, if you're joining and you don't know who I am or what's going on, I am Anna. This channel is English like a native and we're learning how to pronounce countries around the world, Guyana. Um, I've never heard of this one either. We have Guinea, Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau. Bissau, Guinea-Bissau. Mm. Guinea-Bissau, Guinea-Bissau. Um, how do you say America? Ever since we moved to Wimbledon, folks say it's so enunciated. Um, hardcore Americans say America, America. We just say America, America. Um, I have to go for dinner now. Um, I, have, I have dinner. I'm going to the gym five minutes later. Okay, well, enjoy your dinner and have a nice time at the gym. Uh, the weather is always sunny in your class, Anna. It is sunny today. It's lovely here today in London. 
Okay, Guyana's in South America. Ooh. How long can we learn the English accent? Is one year enough to learn it? If you already know English, you can change your accent. I would say yes, in a year, very easily, very easily, if you work hard enough. I do actually have an accent course to help you learn to speak in the way that I speak now, with a standard accent. Um, the links for that are in the description of this video, so if you're interested, you can go and check that out on the website, britishenglishpro.com. But I'm not here to push that to you guys, so let's carry on. We have guinea, just guinea. I wonder, do guinea pigs come from guinea? Guinea. Anyone heard of a guinea pig? My sister had a guinea pig when we were growing up. It was very sweet. I can't remember the guinea pig's name. But do guinea pigs come from Guinea? We have Guatemala. Guatemala. Um, let me check the pronunciation of this one. I think this is um, Grenade, Grenade? Grenada. 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 We have Greece. Greece. Lots of Brits like to go holidaying in Greece. And we have Ghana. Ghana. And then of course we have Germany. I have been to Germany once, although I should definitely Ghana. go more. It's a country that I haven't explored enough. And I have lots of curiosity about Germany. We have Georgia. Georgia. Hmm, interesting. I thought... Georgia. I thought Georgia was a state. I didn't realise it was a country. Hmm. Then we have Gambia. 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 And we have this country that I've never heard of. Um, Gabon. 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 Mm, Gabon. Anyone here from Gabon? Um, da, da, da. I'm from Germany. In Germany, in German, it's called Deutschland. I'm from the south, but all over Germany, there are so many amazing accents. Um, so, a guten Tag, wie geht's? And that's all I know really in German. Uh, Goodbye, those of you having to leave. I know I'm cutting into people's dinner time. Um, some of you, David, saying one thing that's very tough in English is the vowel sound system. We foreigners kind of never know when to use a long vowel or a short vowel. Um, glass and class, I learned. <laughs> it's, it's difficult. I think the best way to learn is just to keep hearing it rather than trying to do it by, you know, saying it over and over again, parrot fashion, we call it, rather than doing things parrot fashion, it's best just to, um, just to keep listening and pick up words like a child does, because then it sticks in the long-term memory. Um, listening to audiobooks, listening to audiobooks, if you, if you don't live with, with English speakers and hear English all the time, then you need to have something where you're either listening to the radio or you're listening to English on the television or you're listening to audiobooks. And I've, I've just come around to audiobooks recently. I absolutely love them. It's such a quick way to hear a story. And so my, my recommendation is that you try getting into audiobooks. Try listening to stories that you already know, but listening to them in English. Um, and I have, there is a link, I think, let me check. Yes, in the links below, in this description of this video, there's a link for a free trial. So you don't even have to pay. You can have a go. Um, go on Audible for 30 days and just see how you find it. You can, in 30 days, you could listen to 30 stories, 30 books, or, you know, probably not, probably more like 10 or 15. But you can listen to a lot of English. And so you can download your favorite stories in Audible books, um, so yeah, in that 30 days, and if you're not happy with it, you don't have to go ahead and stay with Audible. You can just cancel it. Um, I do it. I think it's great. Um, do you have audiobooks authored by yourself? Yes, Kim, I actually do. Um, I did two audio scripts 
um, um, I, it was a long time ago. One was called One Last One. It's a vampire story. And one was called Tommy's... Tommy has a yeast infection. In One Last One, I'm doing a standard accent. And in Tommy has a yeast infection, I do a northern accent. Although... I know that sometimes my narration isn't used and they use a man's narration. I think you can choose if you want man or woman. Um, okay. So yes, I would definitely recommend audiobooks. I always talk about them because I think it's a fantastic way to keep moving forward with your English learning. That's what children do. They just listen. They have English around them all the time. Okay, Krishna. I wish you had done this series in the countries and nationalities format like France, French, Britain, Brits. We didn't discuss nationality parts. No, I fully intend to do nationality separately. I just thought it would make it quicker and easier. Um, do, 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 do. So you are John never makes notes of a lecture or oh, her. Huh? I'm confused. Why does Tommy have a yeast infection? I don't know. Um, okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's carry on. Oh my gosh. Um, Josia, Jos, Josia Paradu has just sent over two something, whatever currency that is, and says, hi. Well, thank you so much. Um, guys, those of you who have sent donations over and sponsored this video, it really means a lot. Thank you, guys. That is absolutely awesome of you. Um, you guys are very, very sweet. Okay, let's carry on. So we're on to F. F, 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 F. So we have France, France, France. I've obviously, France is our neighbour, so I've been to France so many times. I love it there. I went to learn to surf there. It was fabulous. Um, Noal says, teacher, have you ever been to Croatia for a holiday? Yes, I went to Croatia um, for a couple of days. I've been to Split and I've been to Dubrovnik. Beautiful. And I used to speak Croatian, but I've forgotten so much of it now. Because I had a Croatian boyfriend once, that's why. Um, oh, it's Brazilian currency, David. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for, for that. Josia. Josias. Josias. Um, Eric says, I've used the Audible trial period, the one that I've got in my description of this video, and I read three good books. Fabulous. Good. I'm glad that, that you found it helpful. Okay. Um, Behut, um, you've asked for help with something, but it's, it's, not, it's not the right place to do that here. Um, sorry. Maybe consider becoming a patron and I can help you with things like that on a more regular basis. Um, the links for Patreon are in the description of this video. Okay, let's carry on. Let's keep getting sidetracked. So we have Finland. Finland. I, I may have been to Finland once. I <laughs> can't remember. And then we have Fiji. 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 Um, then we have um, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. We have Estonia, Estonia. I've never heard of this place. It's Eritrea. Eritrea. Oh, well, that's pretty. That's a pretty name. Eritrea. I can imagine someone called Eritrea. 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 We have Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea. I'm guessing that's because it's on the equator. Equatorial Guinea. We have El Salvador. El Salvador. Guys, thank you so much. I've just had another super chat come through from Diego Mauricio Ortiz Parada. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. It really does mean a lot. 
Um, okay, carrying on. We have Egypt. I have been to Egypt. I went to see the pyramids over in Egypt. I've been twice actually to the pyramids and, um, and into Cairo, into the city. Um, I didn't go down the river there though, the River Nile. No, I didn't. I want to. And I want to go back at some point too. And then we have Ecuador. 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 Um, your accent is very beautiful. I just want to hear your voice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Making me blush. Nick. Oh, guys, I don't know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, you, you guys are just awesome. Thank you. So Nick's just sent over $5. I really appreciate this, guys. Um, thanks. Okay, so we have the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic. And then we have Dominica. Let me double check the pronunciation of this. I didn't know there was a, a Dominica. If, I, if someone said Dominica to me, I would assume they meant the Dominican Dominica. Republic. Dominica. 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 Yeah. Dominica. Yeah, Dominica. Dominica. Dominica and Dominican Republic. Why is there two? Does anyone know? Are these are these related? Are they close to one another? Anybody? I love the British accent from you and Lucy. You guys are fabulous. I guess you're referring to English with Lucy. Yes, she's beautiful and she's fabulous. And we both have a standard kind of neutral British accent. Um, hello, Anna. Don't forget Tunisia. <laughs> I, I would have covered Tunisia in yesterday's lesson. So I went all the way from Z up to N yesterday. Um, oh, Anna, I've just realized how little I know about countries. Thank you for this lesson. Me too. Me too. I think, I think about 50% of these countries I've never heard of. And that's, I, I'm shame on me. Shame on me. I'm embarrassed to admit it, but you know we're here to learn. There's no sh There's no shame actually in saying I don't know something, and I want to learn. Djibouti. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Djibouti. 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 <laughs> I like that. Djibouti. Alessandro, thank you. Alessandro's just sent over um, five. Is that Mexican dollars? Thank you. Oh, you guys have been so sweet today. This is probably the highest sponsored video I've ever had here. Really thoroughly appreciated. Thank you so much. Okay, then we have, so after Djibouti, which I think is a fabulous name, Djibouti, um, <laughs> then we have Denmark. Denmark. I have a feeling I may have been to Denmark, but I can't quite remember. And then woohoo, we're in the seas. So how long have we been actually streaming here? Let me have a look. We've been streaming for 48 minutes. Not bad, not bad. And we have 131 watches. Hi guys, welcome to everyone. If you are new here, please press the subscribe button. And if you're here and you haven't yet given me a thumb, then I love a thumb. Please show me your thumb and click that like, bu like button. Um, oh, it's Brazilian. It's Brazilian. Sorry, Alessandro, not Mexican, but <laughs> thank you. I need to learn the different currencies. I'm still not, I'm not completely, completely, um, what's the word, fluent in currency symbols yet. But thank you. Um, all right, so let's go on to our C's. We have the Czech Rep Republic. This is always an interesting one because it's a C, M, a C, and then a Z, but we say Ch, Czech, Czech Republic. And sometimes we just say Ch, um, sorry, sometimes we just say Czech. So I'm Czech, he's Czech. But if we're talking about the country, it's the Czech Republic, Czech Republic. Mexico's cool. <laughs> Mexico's cool too. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely have to go to Mexico at some point. And um, yeah, I'll be looking for tour guides if you're interested. Um, hi in Albania, hi. Dave has just given me loads of thumbs as has Kiran and Julia. <laughs> Thanks guys. 
I'm supporting you all the time. I'm with you always. Love you, my friend. Thank you, MATV. That's really kind of you. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, so thank you. Um, Muzz says, read my comment, please. Oh, well, let me see if I can find it. Muzz, 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 Muzz. Oh, sweetheart, I can't find it. If you could just repaste it and I'll see if I see it next time. Okay, so we have Czech Republic. We have Cyprus, Cyprus, Cyprus. We have Cuba, C -c 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 Cuba, Cuba. We have the lovely Croatia, Croatia, Croatia. We have, oh, I've never heard of this one. I would say it was Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. Wow, that sounds very French. Cote d'Ivoire. Where is this? Anybody know? Hey Anna, have you been to Latin America? Yes, I've been to Argentina recently, this year actually. I went to Argentina earlier in the year for three weeks and I made a video all about it, which is on my other channel, Anna's Big Adventure. So you're welcome to come and look at my videos there if you're interested in my travels. Um, we call it the Ivory Coast in the US. Okay, okay that makes sense, the Ivory Coast. Ah, uh, Yes, I think that's probably what we call it here, but obviously on this list it's Côte d'Ivoire. Then we have Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Oh, Natalia, don't cry. Um, if I'm not reading your comments, guys, it's nothing personal. There's just many of you putting comments. I can't see them all, that's all. I'm sorry. Don't be upset. So yes, we say Ivory Coast. And then we have Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Then we have the Republic of the Congo. I'm guessing we just say Congo. I'm not sure. And then we have the Dominican Republic of the Congo. Dominican Republic of the Congo. Okay, so have a quick look at your comments here. Um, Faisal says, I'm from Kurdistan. I'm very good at speaking, reading and writing, but I have a problem with listening and I suffer lots with listening. So what's your advice for me to prove my listening? Well, you may have not heard before, but I thoroughly advise for listening skills, listening to audio audiobooks. And there is a link in the description for a free audible trial. So for 30 days, you can get free audiobooks. And it's a great chance for you to see if you get along with listening to audiobooks. I didn't think I would. And then I tried it and I absolutely love it. I think it's great for English learners. So that's my advice. Listen to audiobooks. Um, all right, let's go forward. We have Comoros, Com Comoros. Never heard of this place. Let's have a look at the phonetics for it. Comoros. 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 Great. And then we have Colombia. Colombia. We have China. I have been to China. Obviously, China is a huge country. I haven't seen all of it. But I've been on the Great Wall of China. I've been into some of the cities. Oh, if you're leaving, goodbye. Um, here, Amanda says you'd be a great ASMR artist. Well, in fact, I did an ASMR video recently. And you can find that in my recent videos, my recent uploads. So do go and check it out. See if you like it. I wasn't sure if I was any good. But, um, but let me know. Have a look. Um... Okay, will you do some tapping ASMR? I don't know what that is. Is that where you actually tap the microphone? Is that, is that what it is? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not that familiar with ASMR. Um, <laughs> my name's Ibrahim, I'm from Egypt. I'm an engineer and I want to know what's the appointed time that you teach these lessons. At the moment, I'm going on every day, live every day, and I can't tell you exactly when because my life is so hectic, so chaotic, that I can't commit to any particular time. Tomorrow, I will be going live in the afternoon, for definite. So in the afternoon, around two o'clock probably, I'll be going live. Um, I've got a very interesting subject tomorrow that I'm sure lots of you will enjoy. And I've also got the pronunciation live video tomorrow. 
If you really want to know when I'm going live, the best thing to do is follow me on Instagram or Facebook because I'll always try to announce it there. So do that. The links are in the description of this video. So we have China. Then we have Chile. Hey, Chile. 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 We have, is this Chad? Chad. I've never heard of this country. Chad. Yeah, just Chad. Then we have the Central African Republic. Central African Republic. Then we have Canada. 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 So these are schwas. We don't want Canada. It's Canada. We then have Cameroon. Oh, I've been to Canada, by the way. Beautiful. Um, and I intend to go back maybe next year. So we have Cameroon. We have Cambodia. And then we have Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not coming up. It's not coming up on Cambridge. Cambridge Dictionary doesn't know it. Let's have a look on Oxford. Cape Verde Islands. So we've just got Cape Cape rather than Cabo. We have Cape Verde. Cape Verde. Interesting. Cape Verde. A David Cameron says Chile, Chile. We just say Chile from Chile. Um, M Square says not Verde. What? How? What? 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 Not Verde. So what? What would you say? It's shorter. Verde. Cape Verde Islands. Cape Verde. Yeah, you're right. Cape Verde. Cape Verde. It's um, islands west on the west coast of Africa. I think I've been, you know, I th I've got a feeling I've been. I've definitely been to some of the islands off the west coast of Africa. Um, but I was, I was there for a very short space of time. Sorry for pushing the same comment over and over, but I really need your answer. I'm great at listening, but it's really hard for me to speak and to write any advice. Guys, advice is, is plural in itself. Like, you don't need to say advices. We never say advices. We just say advice. That covers everything advice. Um, advice for speaking and writing, obviously just practice, practice, practice. Um, try to find a practice partner, someone who you can speak. Who, it doesn't even matter if they're not English. You could speak with someone who's learning with you so that you just get used to speaking out loud. Try to teach somebody else the English that you've learned so that you have to speak out loud. Um, I don't really know what else to recommend. If you can afford to have a private teacher, then, then see someone privately for lessons. Uh, okay. All right, so let's carry on. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. And then I'll be closing this lesson soon. So sorry if you've waited for a very long time and keeping you up. Um, I've definitely been to this place. I'm just going to double check the pronunciation before I give it to you. It is Burundi. 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 Now, I've never heard of this one. This is Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. What a great name for a country. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. All right, guys, I'm just going to try and whiz through these now. So just hold your comments, hold your comments till the end so that I can get through these without um, being distracted. So we have Bulgaria, Bulgaria. This is, I think this is Brunei. Let me just double check it for you. Brunei. Yep, Brunei. Then we have Brazil, Brazil. We have Botswana, Botswana. Hmm, I've never, I've never seen this full name. We have Bosnia and Bosnia. Her Bosnia Herzegovina. Bosnia Herzegovina. Bosnia Herzegovina. Govina. Bosnia Herzegovina. Bosnia Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Govnia. Bosnia Herzegovina. What an interesting name. That's a mouthful as well. Herzegovina. Herzegovina. Goodness me, I think I'll just stick with Bosnia. 
Herzegovina. <laughs> oh. Okay, so um, I'll stick with Bosnia for that one. Most of us here just say Bosnia. I've never heard of this part of the country name before. Um, okay, so we have Bolivia. Bolivia. Then we have this country. Anyone familiar with this country? This is um, Bhutan. Bhutan. Oh, Bhutan with a long A. Bhutan. Bhutan. I'll check this one for you as well. We have... Benin. 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 And this one is Belize. Belize. See if there's any difference between American and British on that one. No, both the same. Belize. Belize. And we have the fabulous, fabulous Belgium from which... We get Belgium chocolates, which I'm very grateful for. I am a chocoholic, although I've um, not been allowing myself any chocolate recently. So I'm walking around the house going, ah, I need chocolate. <laughs> but yes, Belgium makes beautiful chocolates. And actually, it's a beautiful place. We have Belarus. 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 We have Barbados. Barbados. We have Bangladesh, Bangladesh, Bangladesh. We have Bahrain, Bahrain, Bahrain. And we have Bahamas, Bahamas, Bahamas. And we're on the A's. Woohoo, we're nearly there, guys. We have Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan. We have Austria, Austria. We have Australia, Australia. We have Armenia, Armenia. We have the um, Muchas Guapo, is that right? Much, muy, muy Guapo Argentina, the very beautiful Argentina. Antigua and Barbuda. Uh, Antigua and Barbuda. Let me just double check the pronunciation of that second word. Barbuda. Ba -ba Barbuda. Antigua and Barbuda. It is right. Antigua and Barbuda. We have Angolia. Angolia. We have Andorra. Andorra. Um, David is just cor correcting me. Muy, muy bonita Argentina. Very beautiful Argentina. Thank you. Um, so we have Angola, Andorra, Algeria, Algeria, Albania, Albania, and Afghanistan. 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 Ta-da! That concludes our country list. All right, so I'm going to stay on for another five minutes. If you have any questions, now is the time. If you do need to leave, then thank you for staying with me all the way to this point. I do have an exciting lesson tomorrow, so make sure that you have pressed the bell notification button next to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on that one. It will be around the afternoon, around two o'clock but I will be announcing it properly on Instagram and Facebook. Guys, I do do free pronunciation daily videos on Instagram to help you with your English pronunciation. So come and join me there. That's British English Pro. And there are lots of other English teachers on Instagram who are doing a fabulous job that you should be following. So Instagram is free and to follow us, it's all free. So come and join us there and make the most of all these fabulous resources. Isn't it great learning English in this day and age? Can you imagine 20 years ago when we didn't have access to the internet or we didn't have all these social platforms to connect? How, how lucky we are to have the internet, to have phones and apps and to be able to connect. I mean, this is fabulous. I'm sat in London in my kitchen and I'm talking to you in Egypt, you in, in the Ukraine, in, um, in Iraq, in Russia 
in Mexico, Brazil, it just you're everywhere and we're all here together. And I think it's, it's such a gift. We are very, very lucky. Okay, um, what about Mars? Are you from Mars? <laughs> I can cover the countries another time. Julia says, I missed Ukraine and UK. That was on yesterday's lesson. So all these lessons, although they're live, they are recorded and they, um, they stay on my channel. So you can always go back and catch up if you missed out on anything. Anne-Marie, in Austria, they sell bags and stuff. They say no kangaroos in Austria, since many people often mistake it for Australia. Oh, okay, I see. So there's no kangaroos in Austria. Don't mistake Austria for Australia. Um, Afra, ar, ar, Afra, Anna, how many countries did you visit? Did you account them? Um, did I count them? Um, I visited many countries and I, I put stars on my map. I have a map of the world and I put stars everywhere I'd visited. But because I'm not living in my own home, all my stuff is packed away now. And so my map is packed away and that's why I can't remember where I've been. David says, thank you very much for today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're very welcome. I thoroughly enjoy teaching you. Um, Louis, how do you pronounce bottom? Bottom. Um, how do you pronounce inner? Inner. Um, opposite from outer, inner. Are you planning to make more videos like this one, like the one in which you read The Hobbit? I loved it, your voice is so beautiful. Yes, Anne-Marie, um, it seems that video, people did like it, so I will make some more ASMR videos. Um, I'm not sure which, I don't know whether to carry on with The Hobbit. Would you like me to carry on with The Hobbit or would you prefer me to just do a little introduction to a different story? Thank you very much for your lesson. Have a nice day. Thank you, Diana. You have a nice day too. And make sure you've subscribed before you leave, guys, and make sure you've given the video a thumbs up. I know that over half of you aren't subscribed and that's very sad. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Just press the button and make me happy. Are you able to roll your R's when you pronounce foreign words? Embarrassingly, I don't, I'm not able to roll my R's very well. I can do a back of the tongue roll, a rrr, but I can't do a front of the tongue roll. Rrr. I have a very short tongue. Um, Zan, Zandar, please make more backflip videos. <laughs> yes, I have videos of my gymnastics on my other channel, Anna's Big Adventure. I've actually hurt my foot at the moment, so I can't do any gymnastics right now, but um, I will be putting more gymnastic videos up very soon. Um, Krishna, you sound happier with each passing day. Thank you. I am happy. The sun is shining and I have my tea. Um, goodbye, Juan. Thank you for joining us. Um, nice class. I enjoyed watching you on YouTube. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for joining me. Would you record some videos about homophone words? Uh, sure. I'll, I'll put it on the list. I have a big list. I have a big list. Homophones. There we go. I've written it down. It's on the list. How do you pronounce? You asked me this yesterday, Theos, and you know I can't pronounce it. Pneumon, pneumono ultra microscopic silvicovolcanocolosis or something. That's a medical word. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, do you like ice skating? Yes. Have a nice day. You're amazing. Thank you very much. You're amazing too. Goodbye, Anfel. Thank you to all of you who sent me super chats. Guys, you guys are amazing. Um, thank you for sponsoring this video and helping this channel to grow. And also thank you to my patrons, those of you who are here and watching, and thank you for your constant support. It's much appreciated. And at the end of this week, for my patrons, I will be doing the prize draw to find out who's going to be doing the Skype call with me this month. So at the end of this week, I will do that giveaway draw. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron and supporting this channel, then you are more than welcome. There are lots of rewards for patrons. You can check those out by clicking on the link in the description for the Patreon campaign. Um, otherwise, all I ask for is your subscribe and your thumb up. 
Um, okay, so guys, I think I'll call it a day there. Thank you very much. You guys have been incredible and very supportive. And like I said, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a very interesting subject and hopefully lots of you will enjoy it. Um, cool. All right, guys, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> I'm going to go and get some dinner. Have a lovely evening. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Lots of love from London. Take care and goodbye.